Hey guys, uh, it's Rob and I wanted to do a video on um, how I solder an XLR connector. Uh, I've already got my replacement sponge wet and my soldering iron is turned on. It's to about, uh, I don't know, 425, 410, something like that. I'm going to first uh, get the junk off of my iron that's been there for a while. Uh, the key is, to soldering is uh, basically a clean tip. Um, if, the bright, if the metal's bright, then it's pretty clean. You can uh, use the wi uh, wire in there, get it clean, but we're going to finish prepping that tip in a bit. I strip my wires with a wire stripper that's just a little bit too big for the wire, and I just kind of pull, 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 pull all four directions, uh, and then that usually will leave me just a little bit to break and pull off, all right? And so then I make a bit of a fork out of it, makes it easier to get to, and... strip off. I stripped the black is what I would like to strip in length and so I'm going to cut this red down a little bit. Ideally all of these things are the exact same length. Now the most important thing about uh, soldering to me is tinning. So what I want to do is I want to get these uh, fresh wire tips wrapped in a layer of solder that is uh, completely molten. So I stand up a little piece of solder like like this Oh, and I, you always want to heat the, the work and then press it into the solder, right? So, uh, get my tip wet a little bit and then I'm going to, Ooh, this got ugly. I'm going to heat the wire and then that wire is wrapped in solder. This autofocus job is really sucking, but heat the wire and then press it into the wet solder. And these tips are now coated in what is completely immersive hot solder. And this is pretty much done. Now let's go to the cup. Let's see how this is going to work. Kind of can't, don't know what I'm going to be blocking here. Uh, all right, so the tip is still clean. So we've got a little bit of junk on it. I'm going to wipe the the junk off on the wet cloth, get it wet. Heat transfer is what you're going for. That wet solder on the back of the cup will help uh, move so heat into the back of the cup. And so I'm, hit, I'm touching the back of the cup, giving it a little bit of chance to heat up. And then I'm trying to melt the cup full of solder. And I do this on every single cup. This is, I think, secret to uh, good easy soldering. So those cups are full of solder. They were melted, heating the work, not the solder. Now there's an identifier on the back of each one of these cups and I know the wiring that uh, one, two, three. One is going to be my silver or my unshielded, two is my red and three is my black. So I normally, because I'm right-handed and just approach things this way, will uh, start with the leftmost cup, heat it back up, let the cup, the solder in the cup melt, touch it, push it all the way to the bottom, and then let it harden before you move on. Worst thing you can do is move it while it's in the business of hardening. hardening. And then I'm going to heat the back of the second cup, push the wire in, and I've found the geometry that works for me for getting these things in. Make sure that that solder cools sufficiently. And then get my, little, get my little bend strategy here going that I'm going to be able to uh, push this wire into the molten solder. What I don't want to do is I don't want to have this, the wire touching the cup before the, while the cup is heating up. All right, it's wet. I push it in and it is cooled off. And that is an XLR cup. A lot of specific stuff to an XLR, but those are also a lot of principles that are just soldering. Hope you guys enjoyed it.